With minimal exceptions, the Internet in Germany is uncensored and accessible to all. So, if you want unfettered Internet access from anywhere, then it's a good idea to obtain a German IP address. This will also give you access to German streaming content or banking services, which is especially nice for German residents living or traveling abroad who want to keep up with content from home. An IP address is one way to determine an Internet user's geographic location. When trying to access region-locked content, most websites check your location using your device's IP address. So it's important that your IP address is associated with the correct country. If your IP address is in the wrong country, your request will be blocked. There are several ways to find out your IP address and location. Comparatech has a great tool for this. Just go to the web page linked below. Here is the IP address for my computer, and here is my location. The easiest way to obtain a German IP address is by using a virtual private network, or VPN. This software encrypts all traffic in and out of a device and routes it through an intermediary server in a location of your choosing. So with a VPN, you can make it appear that you're accessing the web from anywhere. There are many VPN options, many of which have servers in Germany. In this example, I'll be using ExpressVPN. This isn't a free service, but as the saying goes, you get what you pay for. Free VPN quality won't be as good, you'll be bombarded with ads, and you'll probably have to pay for the features you want anyway. In my example, I have ExpressVPN downloaded and installed, and the app is up and running. To switch my server location, I'll click the three dot icon. In the search field at the top, I'll enter Germany. I'll click the arrow at the right to expand the list, and there are four servers I can choose from. I'll choose this server. Then I'll close the Locations menu and click this button to connect. Now when I refresh my IP address check, I'll see my new IP address located in Germany. I can always go back to my default server location by returning to ExpressVPN and disconnecting.